Hi, this is Lars Hedenborg with Remax Real Estate Experts. So today I want to uh, cover um, the question a lot of sellers have, you know, should I wait until the spring to sell? Um, before I get started, I'm going to go through 10 reasons why you might consider selling now, but before I get started, if you need more information and you, you want a market snapshot of your property, you'll see that there's a form on the page you can fill out and get free, no obligation information on uh, homes that are for sale uh, in your area, uh, also homes that have sold in your area. Also, if you're looking to purchase a home, we've, we have an awesome website, um, and you can fill out information and just search for homes, uh, including short sales and distressed sales as well. So, okay, back to uh, the 10 reasons why you might consider selling now versus waiting to the spring. So, uh, number one, buyers that are, that are in the market right now looking for homes are serious buyers. Uh, the tire kickers come out in the spring and, um, you know, it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy and you know, everyone says, yeah, just wait to the spring to sell. But buyers that are in the market right now are serious. They need to buy a home. Number two, so uh, there is less inventory around the holidays, so buyers do have less homes to choose from. This is a good thing. Serious buyers in the market with less homes to choose from ultimately leads to a, a better price for, uh, for sellers. Um, number three, so uh, listings uh, do dramatically rise during February and March, about double to what they might be right now. Um, more homes is not a good thing for, for sellers. The amount, the increase in sellers is not compensated by a, a double increase in buyers. So you're going to have more competition in the spring. And ultimately, the market's still uh, softening, so prices are, are still coming down. So there's really no benefit to waiting from a pricing standpoint as well. Um, yeah, you know, we're, we're in December, but some people have to buy before the year, at the end of the year for tax purposes. Uh, so we've got a little bit of time left on that one. Uh, but there may be a chance that there's a buyer out there with, a, with cash and, and that needs to close quickly. Number five, um, buyers may be more emotional around the holidays. You know, when the market was really hot, there was a lot of emotion in the market. You know, some of that emotion has gone away as we've been in a, uh, a decline and, and a slower market here. But during the holidays, you know, uh, buyers uh, can be emotional. And that's a good thing for a seller. Uh, number six, houses show great during the holidays. So there's, uh, you know, everything is decorated, uh, you know, with lights and, um, you know, the scents of the holidays, uh, you know, so it's a good time to show your home. Your, the condition of your home will show better during the holidays. <clears throat> uh, in, in our market, in the Charlotte area, uh, there are um, many home, I guess many families have, uh, you know, come from other parts of the countries and other family members are visiting and looking at homes around uh, around the holidays. So you may miss out on that perfect buyer if your home isn't in the market. Uh, number eight, uh, you know, one of the things we commonly hear from sellers is that, well, I don't want to be bothered around the holidays for showings. You know, you could take your home off the market for a long weekend around uh, Christmas or New Year's. Um, there's nothing that, you know, that would, uh, uh, you know, stop you from just not having a, a showing uh, during a day or two or three that you had family over or didn't want to show the property. Um, so uh, probably the biggest reason is that you know the next three to six months are uh, are going to be um, uh, potentially difficult for for from a pricing standpoint. Um, prices are still coming down, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So theoretically, your home is worth more today, um, especially with uh, with serious buyers in the market, less inventory uh, than it might be in in April, May, June when there's more uh, inventory and prices have come down even more. Um, and probably uh, an interesting, uh, I guess the tenth reason is if you sell now, uh, we may be able to negotiate uh, uh, with the buyer for you to stay in your property uh, for a period of three to six months. Basically, uh, lease the property back from, uh, from your buyer. And as a result of that, you could be a non-contingent uh, buyer in the spring. So instead of having a home to sell and being less attractive to a seller uh, because of that, you could be a non-contingent buyer. Um, those are the 10 reasons. I hope that was helpful. Um, be sure to join us again uh, and keep in touch. If you have any questions whatsoever, you'll see my contact information on this page and feel free to uh, fill out some of the resources, the market snapshot and, uh, and uh, to search for homes as well. Uh, hope to help you soon in the future and uh, it was great talking to you. Bye-bye.